Okay, and welcome back. In this tutorial, we're going to see if we can do a little bit of a block out to a facial plate that we're going to go ahead and have for an extract. So to do that, let's just go ahead and uh, see if we can uh, get ourselves first off onto the main mesh here. And uh, to do this, I'm going to make sure my symmetry is turned on by hitting X. And I'm going to hold control down, make sure freehand is available. Shrink down my piece right here. And uh, honestly, I'm going to add another division here. I'd like to uh, make sure. Uh, oops. That could be a reason why. already at the top of the tier vision but I also have to clear a mask off in order to divide so I'm just gonna do a division and now I'm just gonna paint in a rough facial plate mask I'm thinking something from GI Joe <laughs> uh, maybe something like uh, Cobra Nothing too crazy, nothing too out of. Honestly, I'm not even really too concerned about uh, the edges. I'm just trying to get something decent. And then I'm probably going to go ahead and just clean up the edges through uh, subtracting the mask off. Now I can do it with this free hand, but I don't think I'm going to do it that way. I think the way I'm going to do it is I'm going to hold down control and go back to my curve and uh, just simply subtract pieces off with a nice clean curve like so. I'm going to first hold down with control and uh, now I can release control as long as I'm holding down with my uh, right hand the control button here. I'm going to tap uh, the left option alt key and then release and then go ahead and hold down the space bar and maneuver this around and we're just going to then hold down left option alt to clear away and uh, good thing we had symmetry on <laughs> so just kind of want to do it that way uh, thinking uh, maybe add a subtle curve right here Remember, it's everything on the shadow side that uh, gets affected, whether it's minus or adding. All right. Let's just go ahead and uh, clear this away down here. Get ourselves something that's fairly clean. All right. I'm not too worried. I know a lot of people want that uh, clean edge. But uh, we don't have to worry about that right here. Uh, this is good enough for me to do a mask and extract here. And uh, I'd imagine I'd like to make this pretty thick, actually. So let's just see what we can get out of that. That's a little too thick. <laughs> so let's go ahead, uh, just kind of mess around with different features. Uh, whatever works for you. Maybe for some, that's a, a good feature. Uh, Just kind of toggle through and uh, you know I think I can work with that so I'm gonna hit accept and now I have a new mask a new face plate so this fit now just because uh, don't uh, commit yourself just because that's the piece you made doesn't mean anything you can still work with this you can still shape this in any way you want uh, don't worry about cleaning up the edges just yet. Just uh, just try to worry about uh, making that move brush big and uh, maybe you want to go through and uh, try to find some interesting shapes. I'll, I'm probably going to see if I can... Or 
first of all turn symmetry off so I can center that right in the middle turn sy keeping symmetry off I'm just gonna squish this down maybe make this come a little higher and then I'm just gonna go back into draw mode and turn symmetry back on all right so lots of uh, different ways we can make this look but uh, for the most part, I'm going to want to create sort of like a uh, Boolean on top of that with this piece here. Not sure yet uh, where it's going to be. In any event, what we do need to do is uh, try to work on cleaning up uh, these uh, mesh pieces here. I could have always done uh, a uh, panel loop, but... I always get some very wonky, weird results from panel loop, and it's just a nightmare trying to always clean things up. So, because I'm not doing any Boolean features that are cutting into this, I'm going to be a little bit more lenient and use my uh, clip curve. Also, because clip curve is got the only advantage clip curve has over trim curve is its symmetry feature. So, let's just uh, go ahead and uh, clean out these uh, little weight ripples here on the edge here. Uh, let's see. I'm going to turn this off. Turn, I'm going to turn everything off actually. So I just have this piece right here to work with. I'm also going to quick save, <laughs> which I guess we should all be doing. I'm guilty of that. Whoops. I am. Uh, my bad. I'm not on the right tool. <laughs> and. Oh, there we go. That's already looking like something like that. And we're already uh, beginning to clean things out. Yeah, let's make that a little bit more. Alright, so we already got something here, and uh, I may clean a little bit of this up here later on, but let's go back into this again. Now, you're, that's why I make it a little bit deep, because we can always just push this in if we don't like uh, the thickness. Uh, we can just go ahead and change that in any direction that we want. Uh, personally, I kind of like a thick piece right there. Um, now let's see if we can uh, work, let's see if we can work something here. Uh, let's see if we can work a sort of like a uh, bevel into the hard surface piece. Maybe I need to go a little bit more shallow than that. Like so. You can get kind of like a cool little piece. It also leaves a excellent starting spot for uh, polish in case uh, anyone wants to uh, manipulate this or clean it up a little bit more. We have a wonderful polish brush. Polish is a very difficult brush also because it's one of those brushes that kind of it requires practice, uh, sleight of hand practice. It's you can get some amazing results from polish, but it's a very subtle brush that requires a lot of control, and it's also a brush that requires a lot, a lot of dependency on what your size is based on what you're trying to polish out. So, just keep that in mind. I'm going to just keep it there for now. And uh, one last thing, and this is more experimentation, uh, I'm going to actually look at turning on back all my booleans. I'm going to look at my top boolean here. And I'm looking at it right now and I'm wondering if I duplicate that boolean. Let's we're all experimenting right now. We're just uh, no harm, no foul. We're just simply looking at how things can look. Uh, what would this look like? Yeah. 
let's try to yeah just like that and kind of get an interesting looking shape right there which I'm pretty happy about right there just like that all I did once again was I've been working really through this whole thing with the single boolean uh, that I carved and then all I did was duplicate that same boolean and then duplicate that boolean again and then duplicate it a three time and every single time all I've been doing was simply manipulating the boolean with a combination of clip trim and move brush so if there's any lesson to be learned on that it'd probably be remember those three brushes <laughs> uh, Aside from that, uh, that's uh, sort of how we got to bottom line on how we got where we are so far on this. So, uh, when we come back, we're going to finish up our base block out by tackling the side uh, mesh in the head sculpt, and uh, then we'll be ready to move on. Thank you.